robotic choreograph Hitler Youth. Is that in other cabarets, or did you dream that up as well? He dreamed it. I'm going to get flagged by the FBI. I just want to say this. <laughs> All of my YouTube that's... searches are like Hitler speeches, <laughs> <laughs> human bodies burning, sound effects. Um, it's terrible. Like my search list on YouTube is terrible. But I had to go to a place within myself, Roger, that. I thought it was clever because I thought that was a transition. You know, before that, you've got all the decadence that's going on. Then you suddenly had this robotic Hitler youth portion that came into it. And then you go into the... The speech that you hear at the end of the show is actually a, a speech from Hitler to the Nazi, to the German youth yeah. um, in 1933. And that's the year that this show takes place, and it's the rise of Hitler's power. Um, I don't know how many of you have read my count, um, but it's pretty informative, and it's terrifying all in the same sense because we know the ending to it but if you didn't know the ending to history and you read that book it's actually incredibly inspiring and that's what was hard for me was to separate what i know from asking myself as an artist and as a human being and as a young man what would i do in 1933 like it's so easy to be like how could you let this happen how could you let this happen but i think we're living that right now with this election i think we're living this right now with what's happening <coughs> in our country um, and so that's what's really difficult as a young man to try to navigate through is we are all just robots <coughs> being crafted by the media being crafted by social media being crafted by speeches um, and so that's what's hard is to really navigate what's the truth and so that was this roboticness that I wanted to bring to the show that it might exist in other cabarets but it's not scripted and it's not in the Broadway yeah, yeah.